another day, another vlog. There's those epidemic tunes. Ocean Roads by Swift7. Great song, great song. Epidemic, get on it. If you're doing videos, you don't want to get nailed and lose your money, Epidemic, there's a few others out there, definitely worth it, try it out. Big stuff today, it's last night, shift, uh, fly out in the morning. Uh, smoko time now. Got me G Fuel, that's me, smoko, and then get the rest of the shift done, and then I get to go home. Good, family, Jack, Carla, the wife. Can't wait to see all the family. My mother laws over, so it's great. Can't wait to get home. You're beauty. Uh, let's talk internet. Australia, we all know our internet sucks. It's the worst, probably one of the worst in the world. The company that owns all the infrastructure, Telstra, well, they suck. They've always been crap. Uh, since they got split up and went, become non-government owned, they're one of the worst companies in the world to deal with. Now, move to India. Billion people, yeah, I'll give them that, but it's not exactly a first world country. It is in some places, but it's not in a lot of places. It's very similar to Australia. It's got a lot of deserts, tropics. It's got all the same issues that we have. It's a big country. It's got the Himalayas and all that next to it. So there's no excuses there. They are offering Geo Fiber, J-I-O Fiber, uh, F-I-B-E-R, 100 meg minimum. That's minimum, Telstra. You see, there's no small print. It's minimum. For 10 bucks a month US, so about 14 bucks Australian. Uh, as well as that, you get a 3 4K telly, a 3 set top box that's got everything, including streaming, gaming, the whole works, all as one package. And then, if you want a gigabyte a second, yes, that's right, you want a gigabyte a second, that's only 100 bucks US, so about 140. Now, I can't pay 130 bucks a month, and I'm lucky to get 80 megabyte a second, and that's a business plan, and the best I can do with Telstra, with a speed boost, I can't get any faster with Telstra. If you live in a city and you want a real telecommunications company, there are options. TPG does it. Uh, you can get 400 megabyte a second, $300 a month. Now that's a little, still expensive, but a little bit better. You could probably do some stuff with that. Um, if you're a gamer and you're making money out of it and you've got all your Patron and everything set up and you can do that, 400 meg, that'd be pretty darn cool because you, that's like awesome. Uh, that's through the business side. You just check out on the website. I did check last night. I checked Telstra, I couldn't find anything, any plans above that. You have to apply and if you're good enough, they might let you into their club. But uh, yeah. So yeah, TPG, definitely there's some other guys that do it. I'm sure they'll do it. Uh, obviously you gotta pay. They do do a gigabyte a second. That's $700 a month. So that's pretty mega. Uh, you'd have to be doing well uh, in your YouTube. There's obviously we've got, we got some really good YouTubers in Australia and that, the creators that are doing well. If you've got the subscriptions, subscribers that can support that sort of money, then that would help out a lot. You get to a gig a second and then your uploads are gonna be four or 500 meg, that makes a difference. Uh, Les Murdy Falls, which is uploaded, the new video, get over and see it. That was 45 gig. It took me 16 hours to render my poor old little MacBook and about, well, the first time before it crashed because their Wi-Fi at camp's terrible, uh, I had to put it on my phone. Um, that was 25 gig before it crashed. So I lost that all on my phone and my phone data, and then I had to do it again, so it was another 45, so I used like nearly 70 gig on my phone today, just to upload that video for you. Um, I only get 130 gig a month on my phone, that's the best I can get on my current plan, until the next plan, hopefully it'll be unlimited. Uh, and I pay 200 a month for that, just so I can do some videos at work, so yeah. It's very great to see other countries have got it. Australia, pull your head in. Telstra, definitely pull your head in. You need to get your shit together. That is, we should be, at least have cheaper options. 300 a month, 400 meg. If it was around 150, 200 bucks, I'd definitely think about it. Um, makes a huge difference. Bring on 5G once they get these towers out and get the phones. Unfortunately, Apple's not bringing out a 5G phone till next year, apparently. Um, we do have everything rolling out and that 5G is going to make a difference. Uh, MKBH had a 5G phone 
and right next to a cell receiver, he was pulling 1600 meg, 1 1.6 gig. Uh, when it dropped back to 4G with the same receiver, it was still pulling 400 meg on his phone. So we get that 5G in, we can just piss off NBN because that's just useless. Absolute waste of $40 billion of taxpayer money that we wait, the Australians gave to the government for no reason at all. Um, so yeah, bring on 5G, can't wait. Uh, hope for it's, they spread these circles and start getting all, all the cell towers fit in. You're gonna need them on every street, so they're gonna have to find a way to get them on pretty much, every, they're gonna be all through every suburb. They only go like 100 meters, 200 meters range, and they block out by building, so you need them pretty much littered throughout the joint. But it'll make a massive difference uh, to people's costs for internet because uh, NBN's a joke for us in Australia, and like it's great that you've got options now, which we do, so you can look at them. Obviously, Telstra has nothing, so yeah. That's my wind session about Telstra yet again. Anyway, we'll get there one day. One day they'll one day they'll think about their customers. Uh, Trump on fire again, uh, ordering US companies to leave China, pack up, get out, and stop working with them. Um, yet again, he's smoking crack. Uh, he has real uh, no idea about logistics and how the world works, obviously, if he's doing stuff like that. Um, you, companies can't just do that. China's been running, making everything since Taiwan. They took over, everything used to be made in Taiwan. Then it became China. That wasn't a a fast overnight process that took years to happen um, and it's going to take a while if they do start to move away from China and you need cheaper labour. The only other option I can think of is a India which has the capacity and the skill level uh, technology wise they're very switched on and they've got the cheap labour and they've got a billion people and the only other option over that is maybe somewhere in Africa but you just don't have the stability in the countries to provide that no one's going to be able to take a company there if they if the next one day it can be blown up so yeah uh trump standard issue loose loose as a goose old trumpster um yeah very interesting though Let's see what happens i'm assuming india's stock market's going to start punching up through the roof because uh, us is diving uh, the only way they can think is maybe pull some deals with India um, and see what happens there. So that's the next big thing I think. We'll start to see a lot of businesses maybe head towards India. That's the only way I can really see, see an out for the US if they don't want to deal with China. And it actually might work out well. I mean, China does have a lot of power. That This might put them into, keep them in check, I guess. Everyone needs to be held in check for, for things. You can't just sort of have a monopoly on everything, which they currently do. So, in one aspect, I guess it, it might be a positive, uh, but yeah, there's no no way, shape, or form going to happen quick. Uh, they, this, get, this is a this will take years. Um, probably outlast his uh, reign, which hopefully is short. Um, so yeah, then then it might just all get changed back. So you never know. Um, a little bit of a product one, the Loom Cube company. Uh, they do lights and stuff for portable cameras and stuff, little lights, great lights for drones. Uh, some really good stuff on their website. Uh, go check them out. They've just released a little panel light. I've got the email today. Uh, just released. That is size of a phone, I guess. Uh, really good quality. Uh, it'll screw straight on your tripod, so it's got the, the 12 thread there. Uh, USB-C connector, I think it is. Um, it's got LCD display. The battery lasts a long time. It's, it's a high quality light, it's really bright. I think it's about 3000 lux or something. Um, so really good, check it out. It is, it's got a cold shoe adapter. It's got a diffuser they supply with it. It's got all your cord, normal cords. It's 150 bucks US, so it's, it's a little bit of little money, but for like putting it on top of your camera, if you're doing any night stuff or night shots and you want to get some film or a wedding or whatever you're doing definitely worth checking it out um, thanks to our friends Ken Harron uh, over on YouTube you can get it he's got a discount on there and if you use TNL 10 which is his discount code you'll get 10% off your order so it'll help him out and he's a great bloke um, very switched on about drones so he's, he's got a deal with them so they're TNL 10% off I'll chuck it in there won't help me but it'll help him which is good because he's obviously 
done the review on it and it's confirmed what I got in my email that it's a really good product. So yeah, definitely check it out. I'll put the link below. Down. Maybe the, there. I'll check it down there. Now, chicken sandwiches. To us Australians, chicken burgers. Uh, I don't know why I asked, I did ask a question on in the comments the other day, chicken sandwiches. You need a burger if it's in a bun. Chicken sandwich and two slices of bread to me would be a sandwich in a bun, it's a burger. I digress. Um, huge at the moment. Big news, would you think? it? Who's got the best chicken burger would be news? Well, it's blowing up on YouTube. Uh, Lou Lader's doing it. Uh, there's a heap of other mobs doing it. Um, Salamondrum, the car guys, into chick they're all into it. Everyone's jumped on board. Why wouldn't I jump on board? Ride the train, the chicken train. Um, yeah, KFC. We've got KFC's big here. We've got Red Rooster, which do great chicken rolls. There's another one throwing a roll. They don't have rolls over there. Um, Popeyes chicken. Um, my sister will probably laugh when she sees a Popeyes chicken, and so will my wife. Um, funny family joke for Popeyes chicken. Uh, Chick fil A, which is the new big brand that's come out. Uh, it's a fancy chicken joint. Uh, Wendy's, McDonald's, big, big, big money thrown at who's got the best chicken there. Just pumping money into chicken burgers, and it's, and it's huge, huge. Uh, Chick fil A has just come out, they're booming at the moment open up stores everywhere, they're just pumping through, they're getting a really big uh, amount of people through their doors, and they're saying it's really good, KFC's fighting back, Popeyes are fighting back, a couple of people have gone on and said, no, Wendy's has got the best one, so and now everyone's going to, going to these chicken shops to buy them and then give us reports on who's got the best chicken burger. Wow. Now, I'd love to see a burger one because I'd like to see someone to do a burger one. Unfortunately, we don't have any choices here. We do have some homegrown talent and I'm thinking I might try and fit that in in one of my breaks. Maybe this break, we'll see if I can do it. It's a lot of burgers to choose from, but we do have a few good good places, so we'll see what we can do. Maybe we can work something out. But yeah, huge news. You, you wouldn't think it would be news, but it's, it's big. So we'll keep you up to date on that. Who wins the war of who's the best chicken burger sandwich? Sorry guys. Um, and then last but not least, Netflix uh, using human suggestions. So they're using uh, subscribers to volunteer their picks for movies, TV shows, such and such. So per se, you might have a Ash Kendra uh, selection and I, I like this movie, that movie, that movie, this TV show, this series, blah, 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 this doco. And you might go, mm, yeah, I agree with him. I try that, I like that one there. So I'll try this one, what do you reckon? So, so instead of using the standard algorithm to give you uh, choices and stuff in your, in your menus, uh, you now have an option for a human uh, choice. So, human, does that sound strange? Human, 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 human. Uh, suggestions, so yeah, that'll be interesting to see what pops up in your Netflix. Um, I'm not sure if it's just the States or it's gonna come through the Australian Netflix. Uh, but if you have hacked it and you're going through the states, you might see us. Let us know in the comments if you've seen it happen and how accurate was it, how, how good was it, was the experience? Like I, I've seen bits and pieces about the reports, but I actually haven't seen an individual one pop up on my Netflix as yet. So see what happens. Anyway, that's it. Another swing night shift's done. Throw that one away. Week off for the family, get some videos, get some stuff. We've got a couple of things we want to do. It's gonna rain this week, so I've got a couple of other Rapids and stuff I want to get out to, where they do the Avon uh, Valley Descent. I want to get out either tomorrow or wet Thursday. I want to shoot shoot out there and get some footage. Um, a couple other things, and then I might look at this burger challenge and see if I can give us the best burger in Australia through the burger chains. We've got a fair few. Might just spend a day eating burgers and taste testing. It should be interesting. Hmm, definitely gonna need to run next week. Oh yeah. Anyway, wherever you are, Whatever you're doing, going to work, coming home, or going out. It's a Monday night over in the States, so you might be a hospitality worker going out. Good up to you guys, just work hard, you deserve it. Have a good night. Don't drink too much, don't drive if you are drinking. Stay safe, and we'll see you tomorrow when I'm back in Perth. See ya.